All right, hey, Hades Omega here, and welcome to another Hades Omega anime figure desktop show and tell with Lala Satalin Devaruk here from the anime and manga Turaburu. Okay, Turaburu Darkness. Okay, that's the, the second one. All right, um, yeah, so um, here we are. This is the Amakuni Lala Satalin Devaruk. <laughs> it, it literally doesn't say what it is. All right, but this is a. This is a belly dancer figure by Amakuni. Oh, I swear it just says her name or something. Okay, um, I even looked it up on my figure collector right now. There's nothing. It just says it's a figure of Lala. Okay, guys. So I got her from Amiami for 17,980 yen. All right, that's about 120 US dollars. Kind of expensive. All right, it's a triple digit figure, so I expect good stuff. Okay. Um, I think her shipping was around like ten dollars uh, when you when you divide it amongst the figures. She came in a huge figure box. Okay, guys, I, I had a f huge figure shipment. Um, I'll put a link at, for, to that unboxing at the end of the video if you guys want to see that. Okay, um, so there you go. Amiami, seventeen thousand nine hundred eighty yen or one hundred twenty US dollars. Not not a cheap figure. Okay, not a not a super expensive figure, but not a cheap figure either. Okay. Okay, so let's uh, start the figure show and tell. All right, um, I saw this figure and I really, I thought, oh wow, you know, I've, I've, I don't have much uh, Lala figures. I think I only have one other, and I haven't done a video on it yet. But, uh, but I saw this one. I was like, oh, you know what? That that's the Lala figure I want. All right, and and this is it. All right, so this is the Lala. It's she's a belly dancer. Okay, she's wearing a belly dancer outfit, and that's why I wanted it. Okay, and that I think there's a there's a whole line of these belly dancer figures for the Turaburu characters. I think I know there's a Yami one. I'm not really sure what other ones there are, okay? But anyway, so the thing is, would this make a good box figure, guys? No, no it would not. You want to you want to um take her out of the box, all right, guys, cuz there are no windows on this box. It's freaking weird, man. Okay. So let's go start the figure show and tell. All right, here's the front of the box. All right, it's a kind of like pink background and oh, he's some kind of Arabian, <laughs> I don't know, Middle Eastern uh, background or something. All right, and then uh, it's by Amakuni. All right, I think this is my first Amakuni figure. All right, and this is, uh, I guess they're in collaboration with Hobby Japan. So Hobby Japan and Amakuni produced this figure. All right, and here we've got a uh, silhouette of what the figure looks like. And it says, Lala Satalin Devuruk, right? And so here it says, it's, I know it's hard to read. Why can't they make this easier to read? It's in, it's in gold also, by the way, guys. It's a dull looking kind of gold. Yeah, the box is like a, it's like a matte finish, all right? It's not very shiny, but it, it's nice on the camera. I get no glare. <laughs> okay, so here it says, Turaburu, all right? Or to love are you, darkness, Lala Satalin Devuruk, one seven scale figure, all right? So it's a one seven scale figure. Here is the Turaburu uh, logo, right? Turaburu Darkness. And uh, and yeah, okay. And there is some sticker here. I'm not really sure what this is. I think it's an Amakuni sticker or something. All right, there's a picture of what the figure looks like. If it looks like that, I will be very happy. Okay, it's got like this pink background with this the Middle Eastern designs, I guess, <laughs> right? Okay, here's the back of the box. So here we've got a uh, close-up of the goods. <laughs> okay, guys, you got a close-up of her chest, and then her lower body, and then the full figure right here, and then the back. All right, yeah, they they definitely want to show you all the goods, right? So so you can make a uh, educated decision. <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of uh, Japanese back here, but there is some English, right? To overseas customers, please contact the shop where you purchase this item for customer support. To receive customer support, all purchases must be made from an authorized distributor. Items that were resold, parallel, imported, or purchased at auction are not supported. Ooh, okay, so... So I, this is actually a resold item. So it's not under warranty anymore, guys. I, I, I never had to do a warranty thing on a figure, guys. So, But it's nice to know that if something goes wrong with your Amakuni figure, that they, 
they'll they can try to help you <laughs> okay um you don't see too much uh, you don't see that on too many other figures all right so their customer service looks pretty good uh, however you're out of luck if you bought this second hand all right or you imported it which uh, i did both okay <laughs> so i'm kind of out of luck hobby japan logo here amakuni here Okay, uh, so there's some information about this figure right here, but I can't read it. Um, let me see if I can do the Google Translate here. Ah, okay, with the magic of Google Translate, guys. Publisher, Hobby Japan Company Limited. It says Rin, I don't know what that is. Uh, product name is Turaburu Darkness Lala Satellin Devuruk. Uh, something formula account for prototype production Miyabaichi and the color sample production Ibata. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think that's a that's the sculptor, all right, is Miyabaichi and the painter or coloring sample. <laughs> this Japanese uh, translations, man. Ibata is the one that painted it, okay, and then the the manufacturer is Amakuni, okay. There you go. Pretty cool, man. Google Translate. All right, here we've got the uh, pre-owned uh, label from Amiyami. All right, and so this is rated as a B plus B. Okay, so um, figure is B plus. That means it's in very good condition. It may have been displayed. All right, but it should be in perfect condition. And B means there's something wrong with the box. All right, as as far as I can see, there's not really nothing wrong with the box. Okay, and then here we've got a Amakuni dot info website and there's a turaburu there's a to, uh, there's a twitter dot com turaburu url all right and there's a hobby japan oh, man there's so many so many people worked on this figure is what i'm going to say okay all right it's made out of a uh, pvc and abs all right and uh, i think this is a age warning all right here it's for ages 15 and up There's another full-size picture of the figure, and it's of the side. It's good they have good pictures of the figure, or else, or else you wouldn't know what you were buying, guys. <laughs> okay. All right, let's take a look at the top of the box. Okay, it's the same title from the front. And the bottom is just that uh, pink with those uh, graphics on it, okay? All right. I'm excited to get this one out of the box because, obviously... You can't see what she looks like in there. All right, let's do the unboxing. Okay, there was just a piece of tape back here. There is a Amakuni tape there, okay? It has, it has a tape that says Amakuni on it that seals it, but it was already broken, okay? So, indeed, it is second hand, or third, or fourth, who knows? Okay, there's the inside of the box as you they definitely saved the money on the box guys <laughs> it's just white in there okay guys there's no instruction ah there is an instruction somewhere we'll, we'll see it in a bit All right, by the way, there is an instruction manual that comes with it. I did not take it off. I left it in there. But basically, it tells you to, how to put the ahoge in and then how to put the figure on the base, basically. Okay, there she is, the lovely Lala. Oh, my God. I have to say, when I when I, I took her out, she was so soft. The, the skin, the figure is, like, so soft. It's like, um, I don't know, it's like a kind of, like a vinyl or something. It I've never felt of... I've never really felt a figure that was that smooth, guys. It is insane, all right? <laughs> I know we don't have feel of vision but if you touch this figure, it's the paint is so smooth. I don't know what kind of paint they use on this figure, but it's very nice. All right, th that's what I would expect from a triple dollar figure. Okay, yes, yes, she's very soft. Um, you you should touch one of these figures if you get the chance, <laughs> okay? Okay, I'm gonna go over her uh, assembly. Um, so it comes out in three pieces, guys. Actually, three. All right. Um, there's the base. 
and then the figure itself and then there she has an ahoge that goes up here uh, i guess it's optional if you want to put it or not if you don't put it you'll see a little hole for the for the peg in there okay and i don't think this thing is keyed all right so because I, I i installed it like in different directions and i guess you could put it any direction you guys want <laughs> okay um i look i saw in the box that it kind of curves towards the right so i i made it like that okay at first i had it going forward so okay and uh yeah so three pieces there is two metal pegs all right there is a they're really there's a kind of a taller one and a, just like one that's just like a little nub to keep her from rotating okay and um and yeah it doesn't seem like she's too secure too do i think she's going to be a drooper i don't know we'll find out yeah she does kind of wobble a little bit um i don't know how well the balance is she's pretty much standing straight up and down though so i think it should be okay all right i don't think she's gonna droop after a while let's hope not all right just don't keep her someplace too hot <laughs> okay so here's some information for my figure collector collection all right um it's it's a pre-painted tudabudu darkness figure of lala satulandoruk the manufacturer is amakuni and hobby japan is the ma the distributor okay so um, i guess the amakuni is the one that made this figure and hobby japan is helping distribute the figure obviously all right, Ibata, like I mentioned from the back of the box, Ibata is the color producer, aka painter, all right? And, and then he did a great job, I was gonna say. Um, Nyaba is the sculptor, okay? Uh, and uh, this figure came out in August 18 of 2023. So it hasn't been around for that long. Uh, it's it's a February, well, it's, and now it's March. It's March 2024 as of this video. And it came out for 16,000 JP. Ah, you know what? It actually went up in price, guys. <laughs> right? Didn't I say I got this one for 178? So this is actually, this figure has actually gone up in price, okay? I'll tell you this now. There's a Yami figure of the, there's a belly dancer uh, outfit uh, Yami figure. And that one is like upwards of like more than $200, okay? So it, that, that one is just really popular. I guess Yami is really popular. I, I like Yami too, but... I, this is a I thought the Lala one looked great and uh, it, it was affordable 120 right <laughs> sort of affordable okay and it is a 1.7 scale all right uh, if you look at her current market prices she's 215 brand new from figure eyes animota 30,000 JPY yeah wow dude literally almost doubled the price for what I bought her for somebody uh, is selling her in the US for $185 shipped all right, so this is not uh, here. So Solaris is selling her for one hundred forty dollars. So, so I would say Hayes Mega got a pretty good deal. All right, through Ami Ami is what I want to say. I, and if I remember correctly, there was a lot of these figures for sale. Okay, and they're all like roughly the same price. So, so she's the one I wound up with. All right. So, okay, we'll do a quick uh, three sixty, and I, I will look her over more closely. And we'll scrutinize this figure. All I can say is this figure looks very fragile. There's a lot of things that you can break on it if you're not careful. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, we're back, and I like what I see. All right, I have to say she is perfect. All right, but we'll we'll take a look at her and see if we can find anything. All right, we'll take a closer look at the finer details. All right, so let's start at the base and we'll work our way up. Man, she looks good. I am very happy with this figure. All right, so yeah, this is Lala Satilan Devaluk. She's the eldest of the uh, Devaluk princesses, and in my opinion, she's the most beautiful. All right, she probably the one that looks closest to her mother as you can see oh damn she looks good okay this <laughs> is just kind of like amazed wow okay so there's the base the base is uh is actually painted in a white kind of pearl color all right it's kind of it's kind of like shiny and yeah it's got this kind of kind of color changing kind of paint a little bit okay very nice I don't see any nub marks on it obviously because they painted it so they would have painted over any kind of nub marks all right is it flat 
Yes, it is flat. Okay, and it says Lala Satalin Devaduk. Her foot is kind of touching over where it says Lala a little bit though. Uh, it says tu, Turabudu Darkness on the bottom there. Okay, and then there's like this kind of border here. You go with the, the belly dancer theme, the Middle Eastern theme. Okay, very nice. Okay, let's take a look at the feet. So it's, I mean, it's pretty much like a swimsuit figure, guys. It's a lot, there's a lot of skin, all right? And the skin has to be really good. We'll, we'll take a look in a bit. Anyway, so there's her feet, all right? She's barefoot. And uh, she her, she has like a pink toe, um, toenail polish. All right, very nice. She looks like she's got all her feet. Fingers, finger toes, <laughs> they call them, right? All right, it looks like there might be a little bit of shading. It, it's a, so this figure, the skin and the molding are so well painted that like it, it gives it depth. Okay, I don't think the skin has any kind of shading to it. You know, the the painter didn't add any shading to it, but it looks like they're shading because the molding of the figure is so good. It gives you know it gives you a more three D effect type of thing. All right, even though yes, it is an IRL figure. Okay, very nice. Her feet look like feet. She's got very beautiful legs. Let's move on up. Okay, let's take a look at her legs. And, and yeah, so the skin is perfect, guys. It's not too shiny and it's not too dull, all right? It's a, kinda like a matte finish. It's almost like a flat finish because you really don't see any light reflect off of it. Let me turn my camera light on. And actually, it's a flat finish. This is like the best flat finish I've ever seen, guys. Yeah, it is. Because I don't see any light reflecting off of it. So if, if it's flat, that means no light bounces off of it, guys. If it's glossy, you'll see a lot of glare on it, right? But uh, And then, like, hey, this mega like skin that's like a matte finish, all right? It has a little bit of shine to it, but not a lot. This doesn't have any shine to it, but it looks spectacular, right? Hey, mega has been doing these figure show and tells on these Chinese figures um, and I noticed the Chinese figures look the skin looks so dull all right they like a flat finish for the um, for the skin well this has a flat finish but it looks spectacular this is the best flat finish I've seen on a figure all right and it's so smooth like when I pulled her out I was like wow what the heck it's like like she's her skin is made out of plastic I mean it is but like a vinyl plastic you know you know how like how smooth and shiny smooth um, plastic is the, the vinyl plastic and stuff. Yeah, it's kind of like that. All right, it looks very nice. Man, the molding is so good. Her skin looks so smooth. Okay, look at those beautiful legs. Okay, let's get take a look at her little, uh, the little skirt, <laughs> okay? It's pretty much like a bikini figure, right? All right, so there's this uh, little skirt here that covers the front, all right? It's a pink color. Uh, it, or I would say like a peach color, some somewhere around there. All right, and it's 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 got shading. This is pretty much one of the only parts of the figure because most of the figure is mostly skin, guys, that has shading. All right, and it so it's kind of like a it's kind of more white here, and then it gets darker where the folds are. Very nice, very shiny. It's a pearl finish too, just like the base. All right, it's got that kind of kind of metallic kind of sheen to it. Very nice. I don't see anything wrong with the molding. I don't see anything wrong with the paint, no overspray or anything. Very nice. It's kind of fluttering this away a bit. All right. So you might be able to get a peek at the goods, but you can't. All right. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't see what's under there. Right? I think you gotta you gotta really look under there to see what's under there. All right. And so it's attached with this kind of chain here. All right. It goes around her hips. Very nice. It's gold. Looks good. Everything looks like it's in the lines. All right. Let's let me zoom in on it a little bit. Okay. There it is. All right. There's a kind of like an ornament there on the side. All right. It's gold and kind of pearl colored. Same thing with the other side. I guess that's what holds the two sides together. Very nice. Okay. And then you can you can see what the 
kind of bottom part of the outfit looks like. Sort of, sort of, kind of. Her hair blocks it. You can't really see it, all right, guys. <laughs> it's. I don't know. At least let me take a look. It looks like she's not wearing anything back there. Yeah, she is not wearing anything. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, guys. You, you had. You really have to look in there. Um. If you look at it, <clears throat> if you look at it really carefully, uh. So the, it kind of forms like a triangle, right? This, this kind of like bikini bottom, I guess is what I'm going to call it. There's like a, this, the gold chain part, right? So it kind of goes down and then it, it stops. Yeah, it like stops like where her tail is, all right? And then where, where the tail is, the area where her tail is, there's nothing there, guys. <laughs> it's, 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 it's just her butt, all right? Yeah, dude, <laughs> you can see her butt. All right, but however, underneath the tail, there's a little piece of cloth, just a little tiny piece of cloth, so she could get her tail through the outfit, right? Obviously, she because she has the devil duke tail. All right, we'll take a look at the tail in a bit, but yes. So one thing about this figure is that booty, guys. Look at that. It's a nice round, plump booty. <laughs> so let's see. She's got a nice, she's got some cake, guys. She's got the cake, that's for sure. Her hand kind of blocks it on this side. This side, you get a good shot of it, all right? And you get a good shot of, like, kind of in between the cracks right there a little bit, all right? Uh, from what I can see, it's the same color as the front part of the outfit, all right? The, that kind of pink pearl color, all right? You can see it's kind of full. It, it's hard to tell, I know, guys, but it's kind of folded between her into her butt crack a little bit. All right, must not be the most uh, comfortable outfit, but it is very sexy, I'll tell you that. Okay. Yep, looks good to me. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, so it's this, it's this same color. I, let me get a peek and see what's in there. <laughs> Man, I can't really see what's in there, guys. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's take a look at that stomach. There she is. She's got a nice flat tummy. There's her belly button right there. There's no shading on the skin on her chest, sis. She's got a nice figure. She's got that, um, what did they say? Hourglass figure. Very nice. She's kind of arching her back a little bit. Okay, skin looks good. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's it, it molding is nice. The paint is nice, obviously. All right, let's go move. Let's go. Oh yeah, we skipped something. We skipped her tail. Let's go look at look at her tail before we go up any farther. All right, so there it is. It's a kind of like uh, it. It does have shading on it. All right, you can see it changes color. It's a kind of black and red. She's got a black and red tail. Okay, and her tail is shaped like a like a heart. Okay, and it's got these little um, kind of. It's a, what would you call that? A t a, you know, like a bracelet? It's a taillet, <laughs> I guess, okay? He's got these little um, rings or ornaments that she's got on her tail right there. Okay, very nice. Uh, one thing is, it seems like it's very fragile. You could probably pretty easily break that tail. Maybe that's one of the things they're worried about. Like, you know, said, oh, you, if you need any kind of support or whatever, it's maybe trying to get a new tail for her or something. I don't know, man. I'd imagine if you broke it off, you might be able to uh, glue it back on, but then it may damage the paint on the figure, okay? So there it is. Very nice. Be careful with it. It looks fragile. <laughs> Okay, so now let's go take a look at those. Uh, oh, like, let's go take a look at the top. All right, <laughs> I was gonna say her boobs, but yeah, her boobs are there. All right, but there they are. Yes, she has a excellent pair, guys. All right, they're nice, big, and round. And uh, and yeah, so that's the uh, that's the kind of bikini top, as I want to say, <laughs> um, the belly dancer top. It's that same pearl color. All right, very shiny. Yeah, it's so it's a gloss finish, guys. Yeah, it's a gloss finish, and uh, so it's got it's got these little pearls dangling off of it, is what it looks like, and then there's these chains. The chains hold the two cups together. All right, um, yeah, and then so there's these there's these frilly thingies on top of the boobs. Okay, very nice. You get a lot of cleavages, guys. Ooh, look at that, lots of cleavages. All right. And then there's another chain 
connecting it from the top here. All right, and then there's a strap that goes to this. It looks like a kind of necklace, sort of. But there's a part that goes around her neck, all right, and that's what holds the top up. All right, there's these three kind of bigger pearls or gems, and then there's another gem right there. Very nice. It's very extravagant looking outfit befitting of a princess, okay, because she is a princess. Okay, and then there is a, um, it's got these bigger kind of gold chains in the back that hold the back together. You can't really see it all that much because she's got all this lovely hair covering it. But you can see, you can get a good good look right here. Okay, let me like, see if I can get the light up in there. Okay. Very nice. Oh, you look at her back. So it looks so smooth. I know the paint is just so nice on this figure. Okay, and then look at let's take a look at her arms. This is her left arm. It's bent up and she's kind of like she's kind of like pointing at her mouth a little bit. Like she's trying to tease you or something. She's got these bracelets and armlets here. All right, the gold, they're gold. All right, this one has like a kind of like a triangle pattern to it. Very nice. And then there's the other arm. It's kind of going down. It's kind of going between her hair and the side of her body. She's got these. She's got the same bracelets on. Very nice. The bracelets are kind of matte finish, as I would say. Oh, yeah, all the gold is like a matte finish. Okay. On this figure, it shines a little bit, like gold is supposed to, right? Okay, uh, she is wearing, yeah, she's wearing a necklace right here, a gold necklace, or it kind of looks like a choker, sort of. All right, it's pretty tight around her neck. She's, uh, she's all, she's all dolled up. She's bedazzled, <laughs> sort of, kind of, all right? All right, let's go take a look at her hair. Or let's go take a look at her, look at her face first. Oh, there's that beautiful Lala face. She's kind of, she's looking at you. It's like, hey, you, you like my outfit? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. <laughs> okay. She's got a... Uh, I don't know, man. It's kind of like they're blue or green. They're kind of greenish blue eyes. Looking off to the left at you. You know, like from this angle. Right? Okay. Her mouth is closed. And she's blushing a little bit. All right. Looks very nice. She looks very cute. She's got the pink uh, eyebrows. You can barely see. And now, take a look at the hair. The hair is the next great part of the figure. Okay, uh, the hair the hair actually has the best. Mm, I don't know. The outfit paint is really nice. It's glossy, but the hair. She has this long, beautiful pink hair, guys. Look at it. It looks very soft and smooth too. Okay, there is shading. Uh, you can see it's lighter at the top. And it gets darker, and then it gets lighter again, and then darker, and then lighter at the very tips. Okay, very nice. Lots of shading on the hair. It looks very smooth. The molding is very good. Okay, cover it covers down. It almost goes down all of her. Yeah, it goes down all the way to her butt, and you can kind of see back there a little bit if you look through the hair very carefully. Okay, she's got these four locks that go around her her chestesses. All right, she's got the the bangs, and then she has the ahoge. Okay, this ahoge you put on her head. Okay, and then she's wearing this kind of chain around her hair, her forehead, I guess. It's like attached right here. It's kind of like it's kind of like glued to her hair, sort of type of thing. It was probably just molded straight into there. Okay, it looks nice. It's that same um, what's the word? Um, it's the same matte finish gold. Okay. You can see her ear poking out there. This part of her hair is really white. Um, and then the other ear is like in there somewhere. Okay. Um, and uh, I believe that's it. I'll show you the, see this choker gem thing? It has these little white dots on it. Maybe they're like supposed to be little pearls and stuff. I didn't notice that before. Okay, and we're done with the figure show and tell. I have to say, so for a $120 figure, is it worth it? 
Yes, yes it is. She's very beautiful. She's very sexy and very cute. That's Lala, all right? She's one of my, she's my favorite character in Turaburu, by the way. There, I have a lot of favorite characters in Turaburu. Uh, the girls are really, they're really nice in, in Turaburu. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, I like her because she's so, she's such a goofball, okay? And I'm kind of sad that like when, uh, I guess when it became Turaburu Darkness, um, she didn't get as much screen time anymore, all right? She, the, mo uh, a lot of the focus of the first season of the anime was on Lala, okay, and then and then like all the princesses came and all this crazy stuff happened, and then she just kind of, you know, kind of more like a side character after that, okay. It was a, it became more about Yami type of thing, right? <laughs> so, so, so yeah, that, that's like one of the thing I was kind of sad about the Toraburu series, all right? What do you guys think about Lala? Is is, are, is she your favorite character? She's my favorite character, all right? And. That's why I had to get this, and then when I saw this figure of her, I was like, oh. So I've been wanting to get a Yami figure for a while, guys, okay? Uh, the other girls that I like in the series are Yui Kotogawa and, and Yami, okay? Um, they're the ones that uh, I, I like, but uh, I think uh, I like, uh, in in terms of looks and person personality, I, I like Lala the best. All right? she's, she seems like a fun girl to be around type of thing, <laughs> okay? Uh, man, okay. The paint is so nice on this figure. I have to hats off on the painter. All right. Oh, what's his name now? Ibata. All right. The both of them. All right. Both of the Ibata and Yaba, the the people who who made who created this figure. All right. They did a excellent job. The molding is so good. It gives you like it gives it gives good depth and 3D and the. The paint is so nice. When I picked her up, I was like, wow, man, this paint is so, it's so smooth, all right? I'm not gonna lie, I've had figures with paint this good that were perfect, all right? She is perfect, there's nothing wrong with her. I don't see, I can't find any flaws with this figure, okay, guys? And maybe if I look over a little more closely, I could probably find something, but man, it is spectacular. It's definitely worthy of a triple digits um, cost, is what I wanna say, okay, expense. She's totally worth it, guys. All right. Um, I w it would be nice to get the uh, the Yami figure. All right, or the other girls. Um, if I can find like affordable figure, <laughs> if, they, if I can get them for an affordable price, like this one. This one is not too bad. All right. This one was one twenty. It's not too expensive, but it's not cheap either. So, and definitely you get what you pay for, guys. You, you definitely get what you pay for. Yeah, it's kind of like. It is kind of like a swimsuit figure, sort of. I don't even know where am I going to put her. Um, yeah, I don't really know where I'm going to put her. I, I don't have a, I don't have a, any, any belly dancer figures, right? But the closest figure I could figure, <laughs> putting, putting her with this would be maybe the swimsuit figures because it, it almost looks like a swimsuit, all right? But it's not as a belly dancer outfit, <laughs> all right? But yes, it's very sexy too. It definitely, it makes her look very beautiful. Ah, I like it. I'm really happy with my purchase. All right. Oh, okay. The only um, thing is like, yeah, the box is kind of, they definitely saved the money on the box. All right. They didn't spend very much money on the box to make it look very pretty. And there's no window on the box, guys. So this would not make a good box figure. They definitely wanted you to take her out and display her. Okay. So if you don't plan on displaying her in a case or anything, then you're kind of out of luck. All right. I, I would not keep this figure outside for the dust to destroy okay guys don't don't do that to her okay um it's this figure is too nice for that so so yeah that's that's the thing about this figure uh, the, okay and one good thing about this figure is it doesn't take up that much space it's only what one seven scale and the base isn't that big all right the base is maybe like five five inches somewhere around there all right and it's not really that all that tall um let's do the manga check what manga does hades omega have lying around the room today this is screwed up, but I was reincarnated as a girl in another world. Okay, it's one of these. It's like, I haven't read it yet, guys, so look, look interesting. But it is about four, I want to say four-fifths, all right? Four-fifths the size of a manga. Oh, no, no, not four-fifths. The manga is four-fifths the size of the figure, okay? All right, guys. So there's that. She's uh, she's not very tall, all right? She's not very tall. She, um, I'm pretty sure she'll fit in, like, a detoff or something very easily. Um, yeah, it's just a, it's a pity that you can't keep her in the box if you didn't have a place to put her. But I do have a place to put her, so I'm really happy, okay? I do have a place to put her, so it's all good, <laughs> okay? All right, so thanks for watching. That's the end of the figure show and tell. Um, 
I'll get some 360s and close-ups and that's it folks. Thanks for watching.